Good day golfers, as you can hear we're outside, windy day and what better day to describe the Tiger Stinger shot. When you're playing in windy conditions, probably one of the most important things you want to try and achieve and learn is to be able to put as little spin as possible on the golf ball and get the ball to come out as penetrating as possible towards your target. Now, the Tiger Stinger, probably one of the most talked about shots in all golf, especially when sort of Tiger started playing that shot, how you could actually hit a two iron, carried about 230, 240 yards, no higher than about 10 foot from the ground, and that just thing came out like a, a tracer bullet. So we're going to talk about how to actually play that shot today and how to minimize spin off the club face when you're playing in windy conditions. Now, I've got a five iron here. I'm just going to show you how to play uh, a normal five iron shot. We'll just talk about the normal setup and the difference from there between that shot and how to play that little stinger shot. So if I address the ball here, my normal setup for the five iron would be sort of ball position, just sort of left of center. That would be my normal grip position and starting just in line with the golf ball. And from there, I would just make sort of my normal swing. That's my normal setup, my normal stance. But now when I'm playing in windy conditions, I want to try and eliminate the spin off the club face. Now, a misperception a lot of golfers have got out there is when they play in the wind, let's say for example you're 150 meters away from the green, you would normally hit a 7 iron, now you're playing into the wind, now you want to hit a punch 7 iron. A lot of players talk about hitting a punch shot now. So they take the same club, they move the ball back in their stance, and from there they literally hit down onto this ball as hard as possible, really swinging down with a lot of speed and power. And they think by hitting down onto the ball that much is going to come out low and it's going to still travel the same distance. The scary thing is the more you tend to accelerate down onto the golf ball and the harder you hit down onto the ball, the more the ball still runs up the face. You're still generating backspin. So that ball is not going to come out low. It's actually still going to balloon up into the air and it's going to finish short of your desired distance. So the first uh, sort of secret to playing in the wind is you actually want to try and hit the ball softer. You want to hit what we call more of a knockdown shot. You'll see especially with, uh, with the British Open coming up, you'll see a lot of the professionals play what we call these knockdown shots. And it's basically taking a club or two extra of what you normally would do and literally just hitting it a bit softer. So let's say for example, from that same distance, 150 meters away from the green, we would normally hit a 7 iron. I would suggest, hey, look at how strong the wind is on a specific day. Maybe taking a 6 or a 5 iron and just hitting it a little bit softer. Now, hitting it softer, there's one or two tricks to this as well. And also, how you could basically eliminate spin. And then we'll get to how to play that perfect little stinger shot. So what I'll do here, if I want to play now this knockdown shot with a 5 iron, as I said, that will be my normal setup position. Ball slightly to the left of my of my uh, center, hands in line with the golf ball. But now if I play the knockdown shot, I will just move the ball back slightly in my stance. Let's say towards the middle of my stance, make sure that my hands start in line with the golf ball. And the trick here is when I turn back, I still turn over the golf ball. There's not much weight transfer when I'm playing the shot. But the secret now comes in the follow through. I want to try and keep my hands in front of the club head as long as possible. And I want to try and keep that club head as low through the impact area as possible. As you see from the front, the club head finish is nice and low. So by doing this, I eliminate spin. So I'm just going to hit one nice and soft now, just as a little lockdown shot. Slightly back in my stance, or from where it is normal, so it's about an inch back. Hands in line with the golf ball. Nice and still with the body. There we go. And as you can see, I kept that club nice and low through the impact area. And the ball didn't climb very high came out nice and straight and it didn't climb up into the into the uh, wind now when I play the stinger shot the big difference with the stinger shot is pretty much the same setup what Tiger does with the stinger shot it actually focuses on bowing his left wrist outward through impact that's the whole secret and by doing that he actually de lofts the club even more as it de lofts the club the ball now shoots off the face it doesn't run up the face and by shooting off the face there's less backspin the thing is though, with Tiger's club head speed, he can de-loft the club with a 2 or 3 iron and still get a lot of distance out of it. A lot of players I've seen try the shot and purely because there's not enough club head speed through the ball, they can't get that ball to shoot off the club face. So pretty much the same setup as I had now. I'm going to focus on bowing that left wrist out a little bit more on the follow through. And let's see if I can really get this thing to come out nice and low and sting through the wind. Oh, beautiful. That came out perfectly. That worked perfectly. So 
Left wrist bowed out three impact. I could feel the hand sort of staying in front of the goal, uh, the club head, trapping the ball through the impact position, and that ball shot off the club face. There was no climb onto that ball. It didn't it sort of fly up into the sky, climbing up against the wind. Stand came out nice and low, nice and penetrating, and that's how you play the stinger shot. Please remember to subscribe to all our videos, like it, write your comment or put your comments down there. We like to hear from you, and happy golfing.